Hey man, what's going on? <laughs> you know, it's cool, man. Like, whatever. So, I'm Brody. I'm the personal trainer here. And uh, you want to learn a couple cool stuff today? Sure. Come on, right this way, man. I'll show you our weight room. We got all these stuff here. There you go. Oh. So, if you guys will step into my bungalow, I'm going to show you the three best push exercises. Yeah, right this way. So exercise number one, it's really like, people don't do it very often, but that's because they don't understand just how effective it is. So it's a push up with a band, and you know, if you use, by using the band, you can do all sorts of like cool little like stuff with it, you know what I mean? So like, what you do is you get the band, like, I don't really have a whole lot of room here. So Come on. Get the, get the, get, you know, get in here, and then, Using the band, like the band will slingshot you back up. Um, this, there's all sorts of stuff here. Here we go. Uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff in the gym. Well, we have a lot of good equipment. When you come down, it just. What? Did someone break this band? I'm not sure how that thing broke. I mean, I was using it last week. I had a 45 on my back, too. Oh. See that, that, I don't know, that kind of takes tension out of it. I don't know if it's a big deal. If we add a couple more, that should make it go back to where it's supposed to be. It's a really cool trick. Like, this way you can do like way more push-ups. And the more push-ups you do, it, it actually works uh, so much more like type two muscle fibers. Like your muscles will grow way bigger because you can do more push-ups. So like if you do more reps of any movement, you're automatically gonna like, it's gonna translate to bigger, you know? like bigger weight, you know, like, yeah. So like, this should be pretty good. That's a whole, that's, that'll be a lot of assistance for me. So I just really just get down and, and then you can really just, like really just bounce up, like I think this one handed too. Oh my gosh, I kinda can, you know? So this one's like, you know, where you place your hands really, really matters too. Like, the wider you go, you actually get way more in the chest. Because it like, just stretches it out so much, you know what I mean? Oh. But if you put it in close like this, like your triceps are going to be really, really going to benefit from that too. So like, and like, a lot of stability in the wrist too. So just a great one to try out. And I'm like, oh, oh. I'm like out of breath already. That was just such a good one. Like, who like... People that come into my gym and just leave stuff in the wrong place. Yeah, that's where they're supposed to go. Like, I trust people to like come into my gym and use it and they just don't put stuff back like at any point in time. So just like respectful. that's my job as a gym worker, I have to like do all this stuff myself. It's not like a big deal. Alright, exercise number two is like so that's the incline press, you know. Incline press is great, like with dumbbells and stuff for strength. Like you really get the upper chest a lot, and it's really like it's good for the shoulders too. Like if you really keep the elbows out when you do it. But I like to use the Smith machine when I do it. I just feel like I feel it more. Like it's a lot safer, you know. It's really nothing to worry about, and, and it's really like it's really just setting it up. chest, you know, also like, I mean, that's kind of, oh, it's just so much stuff in here, man, we have such high quality stuff, like, like it's a little, it's a little high up as you can see, actually, I also still need to adjust the bench to make it incline, I almost forgot about that, so we really want the incline to be, like, just above, 
you know, just a little incline, like not quite shore press, but good inclines. You know, just bend back a little bit. That's usually where you want to go for the incline press to really get the really get the top of your chest into it. So you want to just bring it all the way down, back up like this. That's what it looks like. Let's put a little bit of weight on. So starting pretty light. Let me make sure our warm-up sets are exactly where we want them to be. What? And safety first, as always. Well, make sure the weights don't fall off. You never know. Like as I learned it in um, team sports lifting in grade school. Better safe than sorry. So let's just get this going a little bit. Again, just keeping your shoulders back like this really, really helps you get good isolation in your upper chest. So my legs are feeling kind of sore right now, like. My knees are real tight from my workout last week, so I, you know, it's kind of hot in here. Let's turn the fan up a little bit. Gotcha. There you go. Should be good. So I like to do a little bit of foam rolling, like once in a while, you know, every couple days, just to really keep my knees intact. We don't really have a foam roller, so I like to use a medicine ball instead. It's really, it's pretty comfortable. You know, it's the same sort of, same sort of thing. It's, you know, really, I don't know why people, more people don't use medicine balls. So you really just want to. You just want, you just want to like get the spot. You just want to like get the spot on the right, like right there on the quad. You should feel it like just in like one spot. Yeah, there it is. You know, it's just right on there. It's pretty comfortable. Just after you thoroughly roll both sides like this, there you go. That's pretty good. Then that's pretty good. You know, you should just feel a little bit of a twinge in the knees when you're done. It's not too bad. Anyway, let's get into the third exercise. The third push exercise that I'm going to show you guys is the lat pull down. And I know it, I know it's in the name, it says lat pull down, but I think this is kind of a common misconception because the way that I see it, you're actually like, you're actually pushing down like with your hands when you do this motion. So come over here, I'll show you like a good angle of my back. So come right in front here, like come right there. And there you go, get, let's really just get my back in it. And like, it's like, it's really, it's really, it's really, that should be pretty good. Like, yeah, that should be pretty good. As long as your quads are really snug against that pad, you should really have no issue doing it. So like, really just, oh man, it feels pretty good today. I just did back yesterday, so it's still kind of sore, like really in the back of my arms. You just really want to like push down through your hands when you do this. Like, you, I think anyone should add this to their push movements. They say you should do like a set of, well, it's pull, but it's also push for every push exercise that you do. So with that being said, you should do lat pull downs after you do bench. In fact, you should do lat pull downs after like just about anything. But Brody, what if I want to do legs? Why would you want to do that for? I mean, I guess hypothetically, if you want to do like a good leg workout, like as far as pushing goes, I can't really think of any. I mean, like the Romanian deadlift is good, I've heard, but I feel like you're kind of pulling. So this machine's legs, um, I kind of just want to, um, let's see. I think you just want to get really far back with this one. Because if your legs are like too bent, I, feel, I heard that could like kind of hurt your like hurt your back or something. So like, yeah, this one feels pretty good. This one feels pretty secure. Uh, I feel kind of like I need to like get a good good angle on it. So like, I mean, as you do this exercise, you're really feeling your legs the whole time. I definitely feel my legs. I mean, I don't really know what that feels like. I mean, obviously. I mean, train legs if you want, but like, I mean, they are technically a push exercise. I just don't know if I'd include them on like my list. 
because they're like, I don't, I don't really know, man. Like, it's really hard. But like that wasn't that wasn't that difficult. It just didn't seem that effective. Like I don't know if there's a whole lot of other leg exercises out there. Like, you having trouble there? No. Rule is, is don't talk while the trainer's talking, you know? But are you willing to try to buy some sessions? Absolutely. Like, I'll keep this going with you, man. You sound good? Absolutely. Right, this time next week, book it. <laughs>